The Princess and the Radiant Candle is a captivating bedtime story for teenagers that delves into the themes of wisdom, responsibility, and the importance of preserving traditions. This enchanting tale reminds readers that sometimes, the simplest of actions can have the most profound impact. In the grand and opulent kingdom of Serenadia, there lived a wise and compassionate princess named Elowen. She was not only celebrated for her beauty, but also for her keen intellect and caring nature. The kingdom admired her deeply. On a magnificent evening, a splendid masquerade ball was held in the royal palace in honor of Princess Elowen's 18th birthday. The palace was adorned with sparkling chandeliers, fragrant roses, and the melodious tunes of a live orchestra. Elowen appeared in a breathtaking gown, radiant with grace. As the night progressed, Elowen met Prince Eirik, a nobleman known for his thoughtfulness and understanding. They danced and talked, their connection growing stronger with each step. Elowen felt an instant bond with him, a connection that transcended words and appearances. However, as the night continued, something peculiar caught Elowen's eye. In one of the palace's grand rooms, a solitary candle burned brightly, casting a warm and inviting glow. The room was unoccupied, and the sight puzzled the princess. She couldn't fathom why a candle would be left burning with no one around. Curiosity got the better of Elowen, and she entered the room to investigate. There, she discovered an old and tattered book with a note tucked inside. The note explained that the candle was a tradition passed down through generations. It was meant to symbolize hope, light, and the promise of a brighter tomorrow. Realizing the significance of this tradition, Elowen was overcome with a sense of responsibility. She had to ensure that the candle never went out, for it held the hopes and dreams of her kingdom. Elowen took it upon herself to become the guardian of the radiant candle. She entrusted the task to her most loyal servants, who agreed to take turns watching over it to ensure it never extinguished. The candle became a symbol of unity and resilience for the kingdom, reminding everyone of the power of hope. As Elowen and Prince Eirik's relationship blossomed, they shared in the responsibility of tending to the radiant candle. It became a testament to their shared commitment to preserving traditions, kindling hope, and embracing the wisdom of their ancestors. Moral of the Story The Princess and the Radiant Candle conveys a valuable lesson to teenagers about the significance of preserving traditions and taking on responsibilities that symbolize hope and unity. It reminds them that sometimes the simplest of actions can hold great meaning and serve as a beacon of light during challenging times. This story encourages young readers to honor their heritage and uphold traditions that connect them with their past and guide them towards a brighter future. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more enchanting bedtime stories like this one. Once upon a time, in the magnificent kingdom of Evergloria, lived a radiant princess named Serafina. She was renowned not only for her beauty, but also for her kindness and wisdom. The kingdom adored her, and her parents, the king and queen, were proud of their beloved daughter. One splendid evening, a grand masquerade ball was arranged at the palace to celebrate the princess's 18th birthday. The entire kingdom was invited, and the palace was adorned with sparkling lights, colorful decorations, and fragrant flowers. Serafina was thrilled to meet her prince, whom she had heard tales of but had never met. As the enchanting music echoed through the palace halls, Serafina, dressed in a resplendent gown, glided onto the dance floor. There, under the shimmering chandeliers, she met Prince Tristan. His charming smile and grace made Serafina's heart skip a beat. They waltzed through the night, their connection growing with each step. However, little did Serafina know that her stepmother, the wicked Queen Morgana, had sinister plans. Consumed by jealousy and envy, Queen Morgana had devised a cunning plot to tarnish the princess's happiness. She ordered her loyal servant, Griselda, to slip a cursed potion into Serafina's drink. As the night wore on, Serafina began to feel weak and dizzy. Her vision blurred, and her limbs felt like lead. Prince Tristan, alarmed by her condition, carried her to a secluded chamber to rest. But the poison began to torment the princess, causing her agony. Unbeknownst to them, a loyal palace guard named Leo suspected foul play. He rushed to their side and found the unconscious princess and the frantic prince. With a keen sense of justice, Leo understood that Serafina's life was in grave danger. 
the courageous guard confronted Queen Morgana, who admitted her treacherous actions. Furious at the revelation, Leo brought her to the king, who banished her from the kingdom forever. With time, the princess recovered from the poison's effects, but the ordeal left a lasting impact on her. She found strength in her ability to forgive and heal. Serafina and Prince Tristan's love deepened, for they had faced adversity together. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more enchanting bedtime stories like this one. Subscribe to our channel for more delightful bedtime stories that will transport you to the world of imagination and wonder. It's a world where love conquers all and where dreams can come true. The Princess and the Hidden Key is an engaging bedtime story for teenagers that explores the themes of curiosity, determination, and the idea that the greatest treasures are often discovered within ourselves. This enchanting tale encourages young readers to embark on their own journeys of self-discovery and self-worth. In the enchanting kingdom of Evervale, there resided a spirited and inquisitive princess named Ariana. Her captivating beauty was known throughout the land, but it was her boundless curiosity and adventurous spirit that set her apart. The kingdom cherished her for her remarkable qualities. On a splendid evening, the kingdom gathered in the royal palace to celebrate Princess Ariana's 18th birthday with a magnificent masquerade ball. The palace was transformed into a realm of enchantment, adorned with sparkling chandeliers, fragrant blossoms, and the sweet melodies of a live orchestra. Ariana, in her resplendent gown, appeared as a vision of grace and beauty. Amid the festivities, Ariana met Prince Leon, a nobleman known for his wisdom and kindness. They danced and conversed, their connection deepening with each step. Ariana felt an immediate bond with him, one that transcended appearances and eloquent words. As the night progressed, curiosity got the better of Ariana. She had heard whispers of a lost treasure hidden within the palace, and her adventurous heart urged her to investigate. Clutching a flickering candle, she ventured into the labyrinthine hallways of the palace, her heart racing with excitement. As she explored, she stumbled upon an old dusty key. It was unlike any key she had ever seen, ornate and intricately designed. Ariana felt an inexplicable pull toward the key, and knew that it held a secret waiting to be unlocked. With the key in hand, Ariana scoured the palace, determined to discover its purpose. She encountered numerous locked doors and hidden chambers, each shrouded in mystery. Hours turned into days as she worked tirelessly, trying the key in every lock she could find. After an exhaustive search, Ariana stumbled upon a concealed chamber that revealed the kingdom's most valuable treasure, a trove of ancient books and scrolls filled with wisdom and knowledge. The key had unlocked not just a physical treasure, but a treasure trove of wisdom that would benefit her people for generations. Ariana realized that the greatest treasures were often found within, through curiosity, determination, and a desire to uncover hidden truths. With Prince Leon at her side, they dedicated themselves to preserving and sharing the knowledge they had unearthed. Morale of the story The Princess and the Hidden K imparts a valuable lesson to teenagers about the importance of curiosity, determination, and self-discovery. It encourages the young readers to embrace their innate curiosity, explore the world around them, and understand that the greatest treasures are often found within themselves. By seeking knowledge and wisdom, they can unlock the potential for positive change and personal growth. Please don't forget to like and subscribe our Artsy Monkey Teenager Stories channel. Once upon a time, in the magnificent kingdom of Lumina, there lived a princess named Alara. She was renowned throughout the land for her breathtaking beauty. Her raven black hair, emerald eyes, and porcelain skin captured the hearts of all who beheld her. People flocked from far and wide to catch a glimpse of her enchanting face. On her 18th birthday, a grand masquerade ball was held at the royal palace in her honor. The palace glittered with chandeliers, and the gardens were adorned with flowers in every color of the rainbow. Ilara was resplendent in a gown that shone as bright as the moon. At the grand party, she met Prince Lysander, a nobleman known for his chivalry and kindness. They danced the night away, their connection growing stronger with every step. As the night came to a close, Alara and Lysander shared a kiss under the starry sky. After the party, Alara returned to her chambers to admire herself in the magical mirror of true beauty. This mirror was a prized possession of the kingdom, said to reflect the inner beauty of the person who gazed into it. It had been passed down through generations, 
and the princess was eager to see the reflection of her love-filled heart. But when she looked into the mirror, she was shocked to see her reflection distorted. Her once beautiful face appeared dull, marked by the lines of selfishness and vanity. The mirror had revealed the truth. Her beauty had faded because of her obsession with her own looks. Alara was devastated. She realized that her shallowness had robbed her of the beauty that truly mattered. Desperate to regain her inner beauty, she embarked on a journey of self-discovery. She started helping the less fortunate, showing kindness and compassion to all she met. Months passed, and Alara's reflection in the mirror of true beauty slowly transformed. Her once dull features began to shine with kindness and love. She had learned that true beauty lay in the way she treated others, not in her appearance. One day, when Alara looked into the mirror, she saw her inner beauty shining brightly, more radiant than ever before. She had found her true self and was filled with a deep sense of contentment. As Alara and Lysander's love deepened, he also gazed into the mirror, realizing that true beauty was not skin deep, but found in the depth of one's character. The moral of the story. The mirror of true beauty reminds teenagers that real beauty lies in kindness, compassion, and self-acceptance. Outer appearances may fade with time, but the beauty of a kind heart shines forever. This story encourages them to focus on developing inner qualities and understanding that beauty is more than skin deep. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more enchanting bedtime stories like this one. Subscribe to our channel for more delightful bedtime stories that will transport your little ones into the world of imagination and wonder. It's a world where love conquers all and where dreams can come true. The Princess's Lost Earring is an engaging bedtime story for teenagers that explores the themes of honesty, humility, and the value of true connections. This tale reminds readers that sometimes the most precious treasures in life aren't material possessions, but the relationships we build and the honesty we exhibit. In the splendid kingdom of Etherealand, there lived a kind-hearted princess named Isabella. Her beauty was renowned throughout the realm, but her heart was what truly shone the brightest. Isabella was admired not only for her graceful demeanor, but also for her honesty and humility. One enchanting evening, the kingdom celebrated Isabella's 18th birthday with a grand masquerade ball at the royal palace. The palace was adorned with twinkling lights, fragrant flowers, and the sweet sound of music. The princess looked resplendent in a gown that seemed to shimmer with the starlight itself. At the magnificent party, Isabella met Prince Alexander, a nobleman known for his wit and charm. They waltzed and conversed, forming an instant connection. As the night progressed, Isabella felt a sense of happiness she had never known before. The prince was not just enamored by her beauty, but captivated by her genuine spirit. However, as the clock neared midnight, disaster struck. Isabella realized that one of her precious diamond earrings, a family heirloom, had gone missing. She felt her heart sink, and panic washed over her. The earring was not just a valuable possession, it held immense sentimental value. In her desperate search for the lost earring, Isabella enlisted the help of her loyal servants, who combed the palace from top to bottom. The hours passed, and the earring remained elusive. The princess was filled with a deep sense of sorrow, fearing she had lost not only an earring, but her connection with Prince Alexander. The following morning, the earring was discovered in the palace gardens, tarnished and covered in dirt. Isabella felt a mix of relief and sadness as she held the once beautiful earring in her hand. She decided to confess her misfortune to Prince Alexander and explain the significance of the earring. With a heavy heart, she told him the story of the earring, its history, and the importance it held for her family. She feared his reaction, afraid that he would be disappointed. To her surprise, Prince Alexander was moved by her honesty and the story of the earring. He assured her that her beauty was not defined by material possessions, but by the goodness in her heart. They shared a warm embrace, realizing that their connection was deeper than any earring or jewel. Moral of the Story the princess's lost earring teaches teenagers that material possessions are fleeting, but honesty, humility, and genuine connections hold far greater value. It encourages them to be truthful, humble, and cherish the relationships they build, as these qualities define their true beauty and worth. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more enchanting bedtime stories like this one.